Isn't it just that easy to win a championship? <laughs> right? You understand how much everything's got to go right. And that includes for a curling team. And let's bring in Colton Flash and Catlin Schneider now. I'm excited to talk with these boys as they join us from their homes today in Quarantine City, the uh, one of Saskatchewan's curling super teams. How's it going, fellas? Good, Good. How are you doing? doing? Good. This is our first uh, three-way interview, so we're excited about this on the Rod Peterson Show, guys. And I'm going to start with you, Colton, because your name is on the team as the skip. Very exciting news that came a day or two after the Team Muscoe news, Team Dunstone news. So you had news of your own. How excited are you to get this uh, season underway with your new group? Yeah, no, I'm definitely uh, looking forward to next year. Um Got a great group of guys here with me uh, coming up next year and uh, just can't wait to get uh, going. Um, obviously, with everything going on, hopefully the season starts on time, but um, we're planning as it will and super exciting. Can you talk to me about how it came about that you knew that Catlin was going to be available and that uh, you you had openings? Can you talk about this new team and, and how quickly it came together? Yeah, so um, it all kind of started uh, right after the Briar when I got let go with uh, from Team Kevin Cooey. Um, I moved, decided I'm going to come back to Saskatchewan. If I can find a team, I will. Otherwise, I might not curl. Um, and then just kind of everything just started unfolding. And um, I got back, and Kirk decided to uh, end up going to Team Dunstone. They had offered him, and then Catlin was available. So... Um, that obviously I played with the Marsh boys in the past and had some great success with them so I thought I'll stick with those two and uh, knowing Catlin how great of a player he is and playing against him over the last you know five six seven years knowing how good he is and I uh, knew he was an asset that we needed to have on this team to take us to the next level. <laughs> So, Catlin, very excited to talk to you because when the Dunstone news came out, I was thinking of you a lot, and you must have just been biting your lip because you knew that your exciting news was coming, but you waited a day or two for it to come out. So what was that week like? Yeah, it, uh, it was a tough week. I mean, my phone blew up uh, for two or three straight days at trying to answer questions and, and whatnot. And as much as, you know, as it was a little bit upsetting and a bit of a, a quick change for me, I owed it to everyone to, you know, answer, answer as best as I could and all the people who've been following along and supporting me the whole way. So it was a little bit uh, of a crazy week, but uh, I was glad kind of that whole process was over with those other kind of two teams either, you know, showing their disbanding and, and additions. And uh, I was just really pumped to announce our new team and, and kind of, you know, not almost forget the past, but be able to just kind of move forward and uh, be excited for this year ahead of us. So guys, they I, they went to the Briar, so they're the champions. You guys would be the number one contenders. So how much rivalry is there going to be now? Because curling is hot in the province again. This is this is exciting. I think. Well, let's take that, Callum. Yeah. So curling's a little crazy. Um, there's only I'd say a select few, not only in every province, but uh, in all of Canada, that have the ability to play at that top level. So um, you know even putting four solid people together in one province is tough because, you know, you got to have the sponsorship. You got to have the ability um, to play against those top guys. You have to have a, a job that allows you to travel that much. Um, so it's not easy. So when you get, you know, the five, six, seven, eight guys who you think can go to that next level and you kind of mix them up, there's obviously that automatic rivalry because you've either played with or played against those guys most of your life through all through juniors and, and men. So it's going to be, uh, it's good for Saskatchewan to have two two really solid teams pushing each other. You know, we haven't seen this for a while. You know, you saw Pat Simmons got dominate for a while. Then you saw Steve Laycock dominate for a while. And there's always really that just one top team that, you know, went and curled on the world tour and, and, and kind of ran the show in Saskatchewan. So it's good to see that, you know, some young talent pushing each other for sure. Uh, I'm going to go start with you, Colton, and then you, Catlin. Speaking of your jobs off the ice with the flexibility, let's start with you, Colton. What what do you, let's just introduce you to the viewers that don't know. Uh, what do you do off ice? So I was actually in school for firefighting, um, but that uh, got pushed back here with everything going on. So that's not going to happen now till uh, next spring. 
Um, so in the summertime, I work with uh, my family. We have a small business, uh, KNS Contracting, and we do uh, new home renovations and just new new home building here in Saskatoon. And how about you, Catlin? Uh, so I'm an engineer by trade. So I uh, I currently do some engineering consulting work with a renewable energy company called Prairie Sun Solar. Um, we do a lot of solar panel design work. And uh, I do some work in the brewery industry, uh, designing and commissioning uh, breweries. So I've got a couple. I'm kind of lucky during this time when we're kind of stuck at home. I'm, I'm able to do some work and some projects from my house. And it gives me the flexibility to travel and, and, and curl all over the world. So, Colton Flash and Catlin Schneider with us this morning. Now, you're also getting some interest from our viewers about your lids, fellas. Player golf, uh, Colton. What? What could you? Is that the same brand of hat you guys are both wearing? Tell us. Tell us about yes, it. Yes, it is. Yeah. So um, I, I reached out to uh, his name's Chase Porter. He's the owner of Player Golf. Um, I met him a few years back uh, just through the golf world. Um, end up turning out to be good friends with the guy, and uh, we. I talked to him, you know, a couple weeks ago when once we knew this team was formed and see if we can make some type of deal um, representing his brand this summer. And then hopefully uh, we can take that further on and he can end up being a, a, you know, a larger sponsor than, than what we have right now. But uh, we're in the works of everything still right now, but he's a, he's a, he's a great guy and it's a great company. Um, uh, if you go on to player, playergolf.com and check out uh, their stuff. How about you, Catlin? You like that gear? Yeah, it's it's funny. Uh, all four of us uh, on the team are love golfing, and we've already been uh, doing some pre gambling on who's going to beat who this summer, and you know the back end versus the front end and stuff. So no, it's great to have Chase and the boys on board. Um, this uh, they got some great gear, and you can actually go on their website and use a uh, flash twenty for twenty percent off uh, any gear you want right now. So uh, you know what? As as much as uh, we can't curl, and you know the whole season is a little bit under review. It's uh, hopefully as Saskatchewan's new plan, we can get out there on the golf course and have some fun together and uh, just do some team team camaraderie bonding. Well, I'll tell you what, as far as this interview goes, stick tap to Jordan, our director, for going in and out. You guys already have chemistry the way you, I think I, there's big things coming <laughs> from you guys. But I will say this, and I'm fascinated by psych, the psyche of teams. So obviously there's going to be the rivalry with Team Dunstone. I get it. So do you want to just let them have all the pub because they got all the pressure? As Darren said, they're the champs. And just do you guys want to be the under-the-radar team? Or do you think you'd like the pub that they're getting and it's unfair? Tell us this morning. Go ahead, Callum. Go ahead, Flash. You can start with that one. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> perfect. Uh, you know what? Yeah, I don't um, know. Uh, Okay, I'll go. Okay. Um, oh yeah, I, I mean, they're, they're obviously they're obviously right now the team to beat. I mean, they they have the the chemistry. They're the reigning champs here in Saskatchewan. But uh, I'm not sure how much we'll end up flying under the radar. But we'll uh, we'll take that a uh, little bit by time. But uh, I'm good with either role. If we're flying under the radar or being on top, either way, as long as we're moving in the right direction, I don't really care. Good answer. Good answer. And uh, from producer Clark, he wants to know, what are some goals on the ice for the team this year? And what type of team can fans expect from Team Flash this season and beyond? Catlin, you want to take that one? Sure. Um, I mean, obviously, a big one for us is to win the province. Um, you know, obviously, like we've been talking about that rivalry is there. And, 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 you know, regardless of the rivalry and who we're playing, um, that's just a, a big part of, uh, you know, bleeding green and and being able to put that Sasky gear on and, and hopefully bring a briar home for Saskatchewan. Obviously it's been a long time. Um, we want to definitely get to the trials um, in two years from now. So whether that's through the pre-trials or straight to Olympic trials, obviously the trials are in our home province, uh, Saskatoon. So that's going to be a huge, huge goal for us moving forward in the next two years. So um, we're hoping to kind of get on the horse early and, and slowly work to that day by day. Awesome job, guys. I appreciate it. And uh, you'll be an easy team to cheer for. I appreciate the time today. And stay safe and uh, have a great summer. Yeah, Thanks, you too, Thanks for having us on.
All right, Colton Flash and Catlin Schneider joining us. And I will say this, as the boys say, and Clark really is our grinder on the social media side. He says, these curling guys really share our stuff, like it, retweet it, and all the rest. So all this is doing, however, is getting our hopes up for the pending season. That's the, that's the tough part, I right? Because then you're just like, ah, brought back down. But at least for them, they're in their off season. Yeah. So they're, they're, everything's according to plan right now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, the further this goes on, the more nervous they'll get because those things are right around the corner, like the Olympic trials in Saskatoon. So they got lots to, lots riding on, on the next, you know, year or two. And the uncertainty is, is a little bit uh, scary. Well, the way I look at this, by the way, is just Team Dunstone. Probably just wishes everybody would lie down and let them roll to the briar, right, and end that drought. And then you got – it reminds me of the teams at the WHL trade deadline. You know, you get that one contending team that loads up, but then there's usually three or four other teams that contend too. And right? Beat, They're not just going to let you run away with this thing. Beats them up to multiple seven-game series. and then, <laughs> Right. Yeah. This is what this reminds me. It's like becoming an arms race. Yeah. And the best part, too, is they're all cool young men that you want to cheer for, and it's going to get people excited. Yeah. Like, year-round, not just at provincial time and then briar time. Exactly. So it is exciting, and we appreciate the support of those guys in terms of sharing our stuff and all the rest, but those interviews are so much fun, too. Oh, yeah. But the other thing, too, I just want to say it. I don't think I've ever met Matt Dunson, but I see, you know, he's he's sharing all our stuff, too. But Braden Muscoy is just the... He's almost like the Hulk Hogan. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> yes. he's the cock of the walk. <laughs> I know. You know, which is great. But these guys are like, we're not giving it to you. Yeah. You know? Oh, yeah. There's something exciting it's about fun. that. It's fun. Saskatchewan on the curling scene has some personality. He's the Conor McGregor of curling. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's going to be fun. That's going to be fun. You're watching Rod Peterson on demand. <laughs> For more of The Rod Peterson Show, visit rodpeterson.com or follow Rod Peterson on social media 